Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am Gigi and um good morning. Happy Tuesday. Second day of the new year. This is a day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it. I call it brisk. <laughs> it's a little brisk here in the 757. Um, but when you're wrapped up, you're good. If you're going to walk, make sure that you wrap up. But it's a beautiful morning. Uh, the sun is out. A little bit of clouds in the sky, but a wonderful day. You know, uh, in reading my daily bread today, um, we are reminded of uh, the title was uh, The Sun Also Rises. And the sun in their title was the S-O-N, of course. But in uh, Ecclesiastes 1-5, um, I uh, was talking about the S-U-N. And, and as I'm walking out here, I'm always reminded uh, that the sun always rises. And it says in Ecclesiastes 1-5, the sun also rises and the sun goes down. And this was written by Solomon, uh, the wisest and really the richest man that ever lived. You know, he had come to a point in his life that he said everything else was vanity. You know, working and toiling and all of it, all of it is vanity. But one thing he uh, was assured of is that God would always be dependable and consistent and so not only does the sun always rise the s-u-n but the s-o-n also rises god made sure of that that uh jesus christ would rise up from the dead in order for us um, to be saved so you know our uh my gym nugget for the day just thinking about this our consistent and dependable God. I found another verse that Solomon shared in Ecclesiastes 3, 14. I know that everything, er, er, everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it or taken away from it. God does it so people will fear him. Have you noticed that we serve a consistent and a dependable God? If we can't depend on anybody else, we can depend on God because he is consistent and he is dependable. You know, getting back to the sun, you know, when he said, let there be light and there was light in the beginning in Genesis. Look, there has always been light, 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 light. You, you don't even have to worry about it. He has never got to the point and forgotten. Like, oh my goodness, I forgot that, uh, that to let the sun shine this morning or let the moon shine at night. You can depend on him like clockwork. And you know, the question is, can God depend on us? Can we be consistent? Because there is uh, blessings when we are consistent and dependable. And we should uh, look at God as our uh, role model and being consistent. I mean, we may not get it uh, together all the time, but it's something about being consistent and being dependable. We want to be like our God. You know, I love this song by Anthony Brown. He calls it Everyday Jesus. Now, don't get it twisted. But is it God or is it Jesus? Yes, he's Emmanuel. It's all in the same. But Anthony Brown says, Every day I can depend on my friend, my everyday Jesus. He's my everyday kind of friend. Every day he's right there with us. I love that song. Our everyday Jesus, our everyday God. I know that I love that word, er, everything. You know how we said the word, I, I, I know that everything 
God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it or taken away from it. We want to be like our God. We want to be consistent. We want to be dependable. We want to know that uh, we, we want to be able that God can depend on us to do the things that we should do. Because what does it say here at the end? God does it so people will fear him. We should be dependable and consistent to demonstrate God's power and God's, um, his lordship, you know, his sovereignty, you know. So um, think about it. We have a consistent and dependable God. Oh my goodness. You can count on it. You can count on him. You can count it. There was another song that someone said, I can depend on God. I can depend on God. Through the storm and through the rain, I can depend on God. But the question is, can he depend on you? Can he depend on you? Okay. All right. I just want to remind you, I want you to join me tonight for Church School Live. Uh, the first lesson uh, for this brand new year. We're still in this faith that pleases God. And the, the, the title tonight will be Faith and Righteousness. You know, a lot of times we're going to talk about what, what, what it really means to be righteous. It doesn't really mean that we are perfect, although we want to strive for perfection more and more each day. Uh, but righteousness uh, has to go along with faith. We're going to look at several uh, people from what we call the Hall of Fame of Faith, the Hall of Faith tonight. And we're going to see that none of them were perfect, but they strive to be righteous and right standing. And that, along with faith, was what pleased God. So join me tonight at 7 p.m. on the Jim Nugget channel and Facebook Live. We appreciate you joining us. We're growing. We're close to 10,000 subscribers. Please subscribe to the Jim Nugget channel. Please tune in, share it, comment. We're growing. We're reaching the world. We are reaching the world. And uh, I believe God is pleased. God is pleased. He can depend on us to spread this word, Pastor James Gilmore Sr. and I. So, see you tonight, but don't forget, we serve a consistent and a dependable God. You be blessed.